2018 Porsche Panamera Sport 2 Re Small German automakers are masters of spinning a single name plate into an extensive spread of variants, with none better at doing so than Porsche. The Stuttgart-based brand slices its Hallmark 911 into 20 to slivers of body, powertrain, and drivetrain combinations. Now Porsche's four-door car is getting in on that action with a subtle stretch of the roof line that spawns a second body style called the Panama Sport 2 Re Smoke. We call the Sport 2 Re Smoke the hatchback version, except that wouldn't differentiate it from the original Panama body style. And Porsche might call it the wagon, but there's no stodgier word in all of automotive item. So Sport 2 Re Smoke it is an ambiguous yet suitably racy term for such a sexy shape. A near clone of a 2012 Paris Auto Show concept car, the Sport 2 Re Small is low, sleek, and powerful, with thicker detailers and more upright rear glass suggesting greater practicality. All of the sheet metal aft of the B pillars is new, along with the roof, while an active rear spoiler can move among three positions, the highest of which is used to reduce noise when the optional panoramic glass sunroof is open. With no change in overall length, though, the Sport 2 Re Small is only marginally more practical than the regular Panamera. At 49 cubic feet with the rear seats folded, the Turbo Sport 2 Re Small's cargo hold is just 4% larger than a standard Panamera's. And it's 15 cubes smaller than the Mercedes Benz E Class wagon. A larger hatch makes the space easier to load thanks to a lift over height that is 5.6 inches lower than in the conventional Panamera. The greater advantage of choosing the Sport 2 Re Small is improved rear seat comfort. In the standard hatchback, six footers brush their coifs where the headliner descends to transition into the hatch. The Sport 2 Re Small's longer roof pushes that transition back far enough to eliminate any interference. Rear leg room remains a bit tight, especially when compared against a BMW 7 Series or a Mercedes Benz S Class as the Sport 2 Re Small is not offered in the long wheelbase executive variant that adds 5.9 inches of length. The long groove hat neighbor does introduce a 5-seat configuration as standard, while the 4-seat setup the only arrangement offered in a regular Panamera is optional. The e-hybrid accelerates more fluidly than it stops, with the 136 HP motor and the twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 seamlessly stirring together a combined output of 460 to horsepower. While the e-hybrid doesn't have an official EPA rating yet, we expect each battery charge to be good for about 20 miles of electric range. In both e-hybrid and turbo form, a Porsche exclusive 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission grabs gears assertively and engages smoothly from a stop. It's the nutty turbo model that we'd buy, though. It creates instant on thrust with relentless top end pull, and that's before you engage the rootless launch control. We expect the Turbo Sport 2 Re Small to match the 3.0 second 0 to 60 mph blitz we recently measured on a standard body pan named Turbo. Those who demand more won't need to wait for the impossibly named Porsche pan named Turbo SE Hybrid Sport 2 Re Small. While Porsche hasn't officially confirmed this powertrain in the Sport 2 Re Small body style, the brand isn't likely to resist yet another combination. When it does arrive, the Turbo SE Hybrid will blend the four e-hybrids electrified bits with the Turbo's heavy V8 for a combined output of 680 horses.